hi guys welcome back to the channel so I wanted to come in and give you just a little bird's eye view of the kitchen so it's pretty nice size if you will um, it's big enough for me so you have the door that you come in right here and then you have your window area here I didn't want to put any curtains up because I didn't want it to feel closed in so I wanted to leave it that open style so here's the refrigerator everything's white black and then the walls are painted blue which was a challenge to figure out how I was going to decorate in here so I kept it simple because I'm leaving and I don't want to put a lot of effort into a place that I'm leaving and you know purchase things and that sort so I just wanted to get something that looks nice and that will appease me temporarily so I just picked up these tile the, t the tiles from Walmart um, and I, I thought that was just an, a nice you know way to to do the kitchen because the countertops are black and then the uh, black knobs on on the doors so over here I just have the toaster the paper towel and the canisters these canisters I know don't match with the kitchen but actually it, it does tie in with all the colors that's in the house so those canisters came from my mom. So if you get anything from your mom, you don't just pack those away. You figure out a way <laughs> to put that in your decor. So stove, you know, nothing spectacular. Just my, my pan that I keep my grease in for cooking my chicken, salt and pepper, and if you notice, I do not use regular salt. I use sea salt. And I just have my knives. And I normally have bananas there, but I ate all of those. <laughs> so I have my blender, my juicer, my other my blender there. That is a candle burner. Oh, I thought it was so cute and that I got from Walmart these are ashtrays they're separate ashtrays and I just um, keep the burners uh, the candles in there and some cookies and uh, I keep that my my co-worker gave that plant to me and it's a uh, um, a peace and happiness and serenity a plant and I'm telling you I've never been one to be able to grow <laughs> anything I don't have the green thumb like my mom but it's doing so well so it was a little bitty thing when when she gave it to me and so I thought that was so sweet because I've been going through a lot and she knew I needed something and so she got that for me and it's doing so well and I absolutely love these um, cabinets here because they're see-through so I thought that was a really nice touch in the kitchen as well and then here on top of the microwave I just have a dish a glass dish and I just put you know some rocks in it and um, yeah that's it so that is my kitchen space and on the wall I have this oil painting that I got years ago and I thought that it tied in with the scheme of things and I, I put that right there and then there is Sherry's space right there where she dines and eats her little supper and just a little trash can and that's it guys so 
thank you for coming along with me uh, where I was able to display how I have things decorated uh, in the mountains. Um, same, same type of deal anywhere you go. So, but many people wanted to see what houses look like or what some of them can look like when you live in the, in the mountains. Alright guys, I'll see you soon.